up? This is Brandon Smiley from BrandonSmiley.com. I'm in a training log video with commentary. This is week two, day one of the hypertrophy training block. A uh, bit of a long one today. Um, this took place on Friday afternoon. Um, usually train on Saturdays, but I had to coach Purdue up in Kalamazoo, Michigan on Saturday. Um, and um, so I got all my clients done in the morning, went home, trained, packed, drove the what should have been a little bit over four hours, but ended up being close to five due to traffic around the Chicago area, um, up to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, training legs before driving was probably dumb, but I kind of had to do what I had to do. Um, so I had some leg curls uh, with the miniband as a uh, pre-fatigue before uh, front squatting here. Then it's in front squats with the safety squat bar again. Um, this week I just worked up with sets of 10 to a moderately heavy set of 10, keeping constant tension the whole time. Got up to 265 and uh, felt pretty good with that, um, at least for where I'm at right now. I wasn't going to push any more. And then I backed uh, down to 80% of that and hit two sets of 10. Uh, with some pause squats um, just to kind of fill a little bit of that powerlifting void but um, I knew that at least it would be good time under tension um, for that movement so and it was going to be good quality reps I wasn't going to short change myself then went to some Bulgarian split squats um, holding with the goblet position here um, I like the regular just holding the dumbbells in your hands, but the gallop position does a great job of when you want to really increase time under tension like this. Um, kind of lets me just bang them out. And did this uh, drop set here for each leg. So I knocked out my sets of 15 and then proceeded to, on the last, this, uh, last set here with the drop set, did another 15, I believe it was, on each leg. And that was absolutely hell. My legs felt pretty fried at this point. Um, but definitely a good uh, intensity technique, and I'm a big single leg work uh, fan. So, but like I said, with my minimal equipment uh, in terms of bodybuilding movements, um, this is just kind of what I have to run with. Um, I'm doing pretty well so far. Um, only got to make it uh, a grand total of four weeks, which I think is doable. Um, and I'll be actually be able to do some leg training at the rec when I increase my frequency to twice a week on the legs, um, starting week three. So, but after this, um, proceeded to move on to some um, strip the rack front squats with the safety squat bar. This was a bit of an experiment, um, but it ended up being awesome and I think I might be using some of this on my powerlifting training um, in the off season um, I put my weightlifting shoes back on so I get a little more forward knee travel um, really focused on burying the hell out of these um, keeping constant tension on the quads the whole time and then the good thing about this is you have to press backwards to keep that bar into the rack um, so your quads are kind of working overtime um, definitely something different uh, and I, I really liked this. It was kind of on a whim. I was like, well, I don't want to do leg extensions. I don't really want to pull the prowler backwards, um, as I already had prowler spins planned for some conditioning before I left. So um, it's kind of what I got rigged up for the day. Um, finish things off with these two sets of 25 on these band pull-throughs. Um, nothing overly heavy. The idea here was to stretch my hamstrings out, get some good glute squeezes in. Um, and just kind of get some blood flow into the glutes and hamstrings um, to kind of help with some recovery process. Then for some ab work, just did um, some sit-ups against the band. These are one of my favorite things to do uh, for my ab work that I've got. Um, it's just, they're just stuck. Um, they get progressively harder. Uh, I feel a really good ab contraction um, and in my hip flexors. Um, and it's very easy to set up and bang out. Um, doesn't take up a whole lot of space either with uh, other people around. So um, overall, really good training day. I had around some things out, some prowler pushes at the end, but really fun training day. Um, training's going well. Thanks for checking in, and you can keep up with my stuff on EliteFTS.com.